the peer pressure. So I thought I would vlog with my answers to Five Question Friday. And the first one is, do you feel guilty spending money on yourself? I, You know, I'm like not a Manny Petty gal. Not a drop of polish on there. Um, so I don't spend a ton, but... Uh, so no, I really don't. Like if today, like when I went to a um, arts festival, I did buy myself things, and no, didn't feel guilty. Really pretty earrings. Can you see these pretty earrings with the little flower impressions in them? Very cute. <gasps> then, um, who doesn't like nuns on the beach? This is an actual photograph a guy took in 1968 of nuns on the beach, and I just thought it was great hiking up their habits. Uh, kicking off their shoes and heading in with the bikini clad. Look at these racy bikinis. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. <laughs> um, oh, what else did I get? Oh, this was really cute. Um, you know, and these, you know, kind of for the house. So uh, why would I feel guilty? This is a quote. It's got to be from Winnie the Pooh because it's A.A. A. Milne. Promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. And look at the cuteness that goes along with that. It's this lady who takes wonderful photographs from all over the world and pairs them with these great quotes. So anyway, thanks for the tangent, Wombat. Number two, how well do you know your neighbors? Pretty well. We're chatty, if you haven't figured that out yet. Chat over the fence, chat as we walk our dogs. We met a lot of people walking schmoopy, and um, we do. We know our neighbors. We like them. Number three, what age are you looking forward to being? <laughs> That's a funny one. Who thought of that? Um, well, let's see. Um, I guess old enough to be, I mean, any age. I'm excited to be alive at any age, really, really. But um, I'm wondering, um, you know, it might be kind of cool when you get to be old enough that people kind of give you leeway to do whatever you want and think, oh, yeah, she's old. Let her do it. Let her say whatever she wants. When you can just say what you really, really think. And uh, nobody bats an eye because you sort of deserve it and you earned it. Number four, do you look forward to the mail coming? I have another visual for this. I kind of do. You know, even though there are bills in there and things maybe that I don't want, sometimes my neighbor's mail. Um, but I like them, so you know I put it in their box for them. Is that a federal offense if you open someone's mailbox to put their mail in when it was a mistake? I'm never sure on that. There is a sniglet. If you're old enough to remember Sniglets, God bless you. Sniglets, this is a book that um, a comedian put out years and years ago, Rich Hall. Here's this picture on the back. And um, copyright 1984. Sniglet is any word that doesn't appear in the dictionary but should. And this word um, kind of describes my love of the male. Anticiparcelate. I actually call it anticiparcelation. But anticiparcelate. It's a verb, and it means waiting until the mailman is several houses down the street before picking up the mail so as not to appear too anxious. <laughs> so sometimes I'll do that. Yeah, I look all casual when they're driving by and then run out. So, yeah, I kind of like mail. Um, that's why I like to send fun mail to people so they get excited about going to the mailbox. What is your earliest childhood memory? Okay, one of them is um, for a short while my crib was in my brother's room, and he would scare me and I remember standing at the side of the crib like this watching him thinking please go to sleep please just go to sleep you're scaring me please just go to sleep um because that's what big brothers do but then when you grow up they protect you so that's cool too uh the other thing I remember my Mary Janes my black patent leather Mary Janes and um I don't know how old I was when I put those on three ish I guess and when we got to put those on, we were either going to church or to a fancy restaurant for dinner. And I always felt very pretty in my pet mother, Mary Jane's. And that's it. So um, this is really late. It's a um, five-question front day, I'm going to call it, because it's Sunday and I'm finally posting these. But what are you going to do, you know? So there it is. All right, bye.